Hello that's it. So I'm going to do a review of the not even in the shops yet Monster Anastasia darts uh, I just want to say thank you to Tony Martin Anastasia's husband for sending the darts for review and he very kindly got Anna to sign the box as well so that's pretty awesome uh, really chuffed with that actually and a lot of people have asked me to review monster darts before and I tend not to have bought any not because there's anything wrong with them but because they tend to be in quite a light weight on the box it says 22 gram but that's the total weight of the barrels stems and flights but we'll check the weight in a minute but as you can see it comes in a, a square plastic box and it's got a kind of a nice holographic effect around the border and they're a 90% tungsten barrel um, I haven't opened them yet but I have already slipped the little label there to make it a little bit easier to open so although I have bought some yellow classen darts I bought them in January I still haven't opened that box so this is the first time I've reviewed or even touched a monster barrel and a very nice looking dart it is indeed it really is nice so inside the box you've got the three barrels obviously and you've got a stem that can fly you've got these three medium look like kind of a smoke effect stem like a polycarbonate very nice uh, stem too and you've got some monster barrel uh, flights I'm not sure what the price is yet, but I've been told that the price will be in line with other monster barrels So I reckon it's going to be around 50 pounds for the UK market. It may be different in other countries The darts are fitted with a fairly standard black point and It's got a rounded bull nose to the barrel and A little bit of gold titanium on the little lip on the front of the barrel and as you can see it's got Anastasia's signature and the monster logo at the front but, um, it's a straight barrel dart so obviously straight barrel darts tend to be quite versatile can suit a variety of different grips um, as you can see in the picture Anastasia grips it around the middle so that's obviously why it's got most of the ring grip there um, I'd say the grip itself is probably actually it feels more grippy than it looks maybe medium level I'm not sure whether that gold coating there is given a little bit of added grip it feels like it might be it's a very nice looking barrel and on the top part of the barrel it's got a kind of a looks like a kind of a black paint I don't know exactly what that is. It almost feels a little bit sticky actually. But um, it's very neatly made, very cleanly machined, and then it's got them little round indentations on the top and the bottom of the ring grip. And there's your very nice, smoky, clear stems, the monster logo and some standard monster flights the darts are fitted with a black coated 26mm point it's got a rounded bull nose to the barrel the smooth section at the front is 11.5 millimeters wide then you've got a small ring with two thin grooves of 1.9 millimeters then there's a ring with indented circles that's 2.2 millimeters wide then the bulk of the grip is made of this thin ring grip with the gold tie coating on the rings that's 22.7 millimeters wide and then you've got another ring with the circular indents that's two millimeters wide and then another thin ring with thin grooves that's 1.8 millimeters wide 
then a smooth section of 5 millimeters and then it tapers for 2 millimeters to the end of the barrel the length is 49.06 and the width is 6.5 millimeters that's 20.39 grams that's 20.39 grams again and 20.39 so that's perfect that's perfectly matched weighted and the full setup as supplied is 22.2 with nothing attached the balance point is front weighted and with the supplied setup it's very close to the center of the barrel quite smooth through the air actually I'm surprised it's working as well as it is because it, it feels very light to throw a lot lighter than I'm used to I know I've tried light soft tips but for some reason when I try light steel tip darts it always feels weird don't know why but Anyway, I'm going to try the middle grip now. I think that's definitely nicer balanced around the centre. Um, I think that first start was a fluke like. But it's... Uh, I think that cotton has given the uh, grip a little bit of extra stickiness. Mm. I think I might even like these even better if they were around 23 gram. for me I know our middle grip isn't my natural grip so flying very well from the middle try that rear grip now oh, that first one and the last one just couldn't get the direction right just feels a little bit too weird at the rear Another couple more. I'm getting a lot of spin as well. I do tend to get a lot of spin when I try from the rear, but I don't really see it being a problem for natural rear grippers. But I'm just trying it, obviously, just for the sake of it. to me for the rear but if you are a natural rear gripper it shouldn't be a problem I wouldn't have thought So there you go, it's the uh, Monster Anastasia Darts, um, 20.4 grams, full setup is 22 grams. I think that's probably the only thing that is um, against it for me personally, is that I probably prefer if the barrels themselves were around 22, 23 grams. 23 grams, they'd be perfect. Um, I was surprised how nicely they're flying from the front though, very nice from there. 
But even better from the centre, which is where Anastasia grips it from looking at the picture. And I think that corner on there is definitely adding a little bit to the uh, grip there. It's a beautifully made dart, very nicely made darts, and I'll be looking forward to trying a few more monster darts. Um, that's the only thing that's put me off getting them before is, is the fact that they're a little bit on the light side for me, but um, I could probably get used to, to, to it after a while. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.